Okay, here we go. <laughs> now can y'all hear me? Yo, I swear. I swear. Can y'all hear me now? The mic is jumping. It looks like y'all can hear me. You can hear me? Okay. Oh my God. 
it's always something. I swear it's always something. You know what's wild? Is like I restarted my computer. A lot of background noise. Uh oh. I got the AC on, y'all. Sorry. Hold on. Is it really like annoying? The background noise? Cause otherwise, like I don't know. <sighs> It's always something. It's always something. The The wild part is, is that I restarted my computer before I came on here just so that I could have like a more streamless sort of thing happening. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I'm telling, otherwise it'll be like, it'll be a freaking, a hot box in here. Hold on, let me get my tunes together. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? It's it's been a it's been a little minute. Um, oh man. The past few days, the past few days have been have been a lot. They have been a lot. But yeah, what's going on? What's up Kage? What's up Groovy? Hey Zen. And also the Malas, thank you for the follow earlier. I did see that. I did see that. Let me try and get um it's going to be a chill one today. Um, let me get some, just a little bit of lo-fi going, you know? I just wanted to be chill. I cannot believe I'm delayed. I'm so annoyed. I like, I restarted my computer. <laughs> like, what is the point of restarting my shit if it's not going to work? Come on now. Hold on. I'm getting the music together, y'all. This don't even make no sense. Hey, Ocean. Where'd you get that shirt from? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, Groovy. I got it. Um, <laughs> I got it from um, Anime Expo. There's a lot of things to talk about, y'all. Okay, so let me just keep it straight up, right? Let me just keep it straight up. I don't know exactly what I'm working on. There's a bunch of things that I could be working on. Um, there's some stuff that I want to finish and I want to do some, some merchy stuff and try to fit try to finish some of that stuff up. Um, but I don't have a concrete thing. I'm just going to be working on whatever. And in the meantime, we're just going to be talking about whatever. One of those includes, uh, the manga artist of Yu-Gi-Oh passing away, RIP. Let me make sure I get his name right. Cause growing up, I was not like a massive fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but like it was definitely a part of my childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like four kids was definitely, definitely a part of my childhood. Hold on. Of course, of course people call in. Come on now. <laughs> All right, so let me get my information together. Yes, RIP to Kazuki Takahashi. RIP, RIP. Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1 was my first manga that I ever read and owned. Really? Oh, man. That's insane. I I never read the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. To be honest, I was like... Yu-Gi-Oh! is just one of those things that, like... It's just not... I don't know. It's just not a Japanese thing. Like, it's just not fully a Japanese thing. Like, it's so Americanized. Like, so many people have, like, memories tied to it. I definitely remember, like, Saturdays watching um, WB11. That's, that's Channel 11, PIX11. Whatever you want to call it, that's what it is in New York City. But um, uh, I remember watching on Saturdays and... Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> I was into Yu-Gi-Oh, but I wasn't like into into Yu-Gi-Oh. But I definitely appreciated it for like the impact that it had. That was like, really like the first for, foray foray into like anime. Like definitely like fundamental stuff for sure. You know, like that hair, Yugi's hair, bro, bro. What's up, Zay? 
I don't remember much about Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember having the biggest crush on Yu-Gi when I was smaller. Oh my God. I feel that though. Like, like, wait, was it Yu-Gi or was it like Yami Yu-Gi? Was it the big one? I had a crush on the big one. And I, I only recently listened to the, to the Japanese dubbed voices. Um, but for the longest, I was only listening to the English. And the English voice for Yami Yugi was like, it was chef's kiss. His voice was a little too deep for how small he was, but like, I was still into it. Yep. Picks, WB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groovy, I know you know that. You're in New York City, but like, not everybody's in New York City. Um, WB11 might be like something else uh, nationwide. I always remember Yu-Gi-Oh. Remember when Bandit Key pulled up with the... <laughs> Yo, to be honest, so this is so weird. Um, I was telling um, I was telling my friend Nick this, that like, I'm going to stop reading and watching stuff because <laughs> this is going to be really dark. Like, But like, every, I feel like every time I get into something, like the artist passes or something. And like, this is really dark to say, but... I started getting into Berserk and then like months after I started getting into Berserk, we all know what happened. RIP Kentaro Miura. And then I started rewatching Yu-Gi-Oh! literally like this month as I'm like, as I was uh, working on stuff in the night or whatever, I would have, uh, I would have Yu-Gi-Oh! on playing in the background and, um, and now this, so RIP Kazuki Takashi, but uh yeah maybe i should just stop watching stuff and like reading stuff <laughs> that's so bad that's so bad oh no you're cursed please whatever you do don't watch one i've already started watching one piece so if, if i am actually cursed like i don't know y'all are not gonna have another uh another ending <laughs> it's gonna be another another series with no ending y'all i'm so sorry kage i don't know what's going on i know that sounds mad dark that sounds mad bleak I shouldn't joke like that because like I do like I was really getting in back into Yu-Gi-Oh. The the furthest that I've ever gotten in Yu-Gi-Oh though was um just that first tournament. I'm not sure what happened after after that first tournament. Like if they if they played those episodes on TV, I'm not sure, but Murakami curse. Oh my gosh. For real though, it is the Murakami curse. Don't say that. Somebody get the sage. <laughs> yeah, word. L light the sage. Light the sage. I was lighting um some, what is that, Santa Paulo earlier. So the studio is smelling extra crispy, extra nice, extra good. So it's, it's, this is a beacon of zen. So I'm just saying. I have nothing to leave Zay in my will. I'm dead. You can leave him your sarcasm. That always works. <laughs> Just drop that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm I'm still annoyed that I am like delayed. Like, bro. Like I've restarted you. Can you get together? Like, get it together. It's a little warm. My computer's a little warm. It's fine though. Um but yeah, RIP to uh, Kazuki Takahashi. Uh, I mean, even if you didn't really like get into Yu-Gi-Oh or like play the card games, um, everybody knows, like everybody who is in the anime community absolutely knows about um, Yu-Gi-Oh and respects it as one of the foundational animes or like IPs that they've gotten into. Kage, mind your business, I didn't ask you. Um, <laughs> that's number one. Um, but yeah, you know, if you have friends who are like feeling really down about this news, you know, just, just be there, be there, their shoulder for them to lean on and kind of just like air their problems and, and their feels, you know, I had to do that this morning with two friends. So, um, definitely, um, when uh, Isao Takahata of Studio Ghibli passed away, that was definitely me. 
And uh, when Kentaro Miura also, you know, when he passed away, that was definitely, I was definitely like, oh, oh. So I get it. I get it. Um, but yes. So I just wanted to acknowledge that um, before we got started. So RIP. Um, some next business. That would be a fire manga, Murakami Curse. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw it in the I'm gonna throw it in the uh in the arcs in the in the, the 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 story the storybook. Kage don't have any shoulders. Y'all are ruthless. Y'all are ruthless. <laughs> Can we at least acknowledge the drip? Okay, okay. So, we'll acknowledge the drip. All right. So, getting into it. Um y'all know or maybe y'all don't know, some of y'all don't know. I went to Anime Expo this past weekend. Um, and a homie of mine, and also my my panel mate from um, Anime NYC last year got me uh, a badge, not just any badge. He got me an industry badge, which is pretty dope. Cause that means I can kind of ease into like any space during throughout the convention as I needed to. Which was great because um, the LA Convention Center is huge. It's it's way bigger than Javits, and it was like it was almost like two convention centers that were being utilized at the same time, like the space. So it was very useful to have because if I ever got lost and I just needed, like, um, I, I please can I just crawl over here and like try to find my way? It was easier to do so. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, Resented the Murakami curse. Oh my God. Not the, uh, not the spinoff. Like, let me get Resenter first. Then we can start doing spinoffs. Um, but yeah, I went to Anime Expo. Shout out to the homie Mark who got me hooked up and was also like, you should come. Like you should totally come. And I was like, oh, I should come. I should do that. And I did that. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, the weather is really nice. Y'all, driving on the LA freeway at dusk and watching the palm trees and the sun go down, just wow. Wow. I've never been to the West Coast before. I've never been to, um, to LA. I've never been to California. So like incredible, incredible sights, incredible sights. Um, just driving on the freeway at dusk was enough for me to be like, wow, wow, powerful stuff. What's up, Mega? You was driving to LA and you still not in traffic. <laughs> I, I actually didn't have a problem with LA traffic. And I, I know that that's the stereotype. I didn't have a problem with LA traffic. I had a problem with LA parking. I remember uh friday and saturday i was late getting i didn't i wasn't even late i couldn't make it to any um panels because i was looking for parking for two hours the parking situation out there is hellish the traffic in my experience not so much um and maybe that's just because i'm a new yorker and like we just have a lot of shitty traffic here anyway but um the parking was was atrocious like atrocious do you have parking like so the the area is kind of next to skid row which is like um it's really embarrassing uh for la to even have a skid row personally like i mean in new york city we have a very high homeless population but we don't have a spot where we discard our homeless like they're, they're just sprinkled all over the place in the city. And like, you know, it is what it is. There are people who are, are unhoused LA though. It's weird because you do have people that are sprinkled about the city, but Skid Row is sort of like the, the, the epicenter of like the unhoused population, which is in my opinion, a little embarrassing, like on the city's part, like they should have something set up like for, for these people like this, th it's a bit, you know, I don't know. But again, I'm a New Yorker. We got a lot of homeless people. It could be the pot called the kettle black, but it, you know, it's kind of close to that area. But, um, 
Hey, what's up, the Malas? What's going on? Um, but uh, yeah, it was. It's kind of close to that area, so like, the thing is though, <laughs> like nobody wants to park near that area, right? And like, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't wanna park near that area either. It's only me out there. I am five three. You know what I'm saying? I, I have no people with me, so I wasn't finna park there either. But the gag is, is that the closer that you get to the convention center, and you can tell when you're getting close because the prices for the parking garages go up. But they don't just go up, they like skyrocket, like by $10. So when you're closer on the outskirts of the convention where it's kind of a bit more, it's kind of a bit more, oh, 555 Warehouse, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the collective. Also, y'all, I'm going to start drawing soon. Um, I just wanted to catch up with y'all, though, since I missed y'all on Tuesday and I just have been, like, all over the place. Um, but, yeah, also, sorry for the delay. I don't know, but this seems to just be the thing now. I'm, I don't know why that is, you know, whatever. I'm going to have to figure this out. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> when you're further out from the convention center the the parking price is like reasonable it's like maybe three dollars four dollars maybe five dollars as soon as you start inching in the prices get a little more crazy so it's like five dollars per hour then it goes up to like twenty dollars then 40 then 50 and then right across the street from the convention center the parking was eighty dollars most of the weekend and ninety dollars on saturday it's 90 fucking dollars to park in front of the convention. I'm assuming that that's all day parking um, because if it was like $90 for like six hours, that would be insane. That would be OD. Um, so I'm going to, in good faith, I'm going to assume that it was $90 for the whole day. And then you have like, you have, um, what do you call this? You have like convention parking that is, around the convention area there's like one that's un right directly under the convention and then you have a few spots that are around the convention center what's up queen k all day um and those were 25 dollar parking that was 25 dollars if you drive right if you drive 25 dollars is a lot of money to park but it's for the day so it's not horrible it, it is a little bit more on the regular side but everybody wants that $25 parking because it's literally at the convention center. There's only like three lots or something like that. Everybody fucking wants those spots. So on Friday, I wanted to go to a, 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 tra a, a trash taste panel and um, couldn't do it. I wanted to go to a trash taste panel, um, the trash taste podcast. I wanted to go to their panel and there was, um, let me see if I can find this real quick because I still got the the AX app on my phone. There was a panel for black women in the anime industry or like in the anime space. Wanted to go see that. Couldn't see it. Was very upset about that. Where is it? Let me see. Oh, Amazing Black Women of Anime. That was what it was called. And that was like, that was at like what? One o'clock? One forty-five. Y'all, I got to L.A. at like 9.40 or something like that. It took me, it took me like 50 minutes, maybe more than that. It might have been like a full hour to actually get to the, the, rent, the car rental place, get the car. Then I had to drive to the place. And then I was looking for parking for like two hours. So I missed all the panels I wanted to go to. All of them. Um, I didn't get parking until maybe like two o'clock. Until two o'clock, y'all. Two o'clock? Like, <laughs> it's, it was insane. It was, fr it was fucking insane, y'all. Skirot is, oh my God, groovy. Come on now. I definitely want to go to Anime Expo one day. It's fun. It's fun. It's huge, though. Um, 
it's huge for those of y'all who are in new york city um and have been to like um javits center like have like to uh anime nyc or to um uh new york city comic-con javits center is fucking small potatoes to some of these conventions that are out here in the u.s asin anime central um was already big enough like that convention was huge this convention um the los angeles convention center is fucking massive dude it's massive javits does not have um does not have like a, an upper walkway uh this convention center has like two of them like, like it's massive it's fucking massive so even if i were able to get um, to get parking and enough time on the first day, I probably still wouldn't have made it because I would have gotten lost because I didn't start understanding the layout of the convention until Saturday. But that was because I was walking around all over the place. And like, I didn't understand how far the distance was for me to get to places. So like to get to like parking and stuff like that, um, where my car was at the parking lot or whatever, how far or slow, how, you know, I didn't understand the distance at that time. But, um, Anywho, so took me two hours to find parking the first day. Saturday took me two hours to find parking. Um, to compare parking situation to LA, parking around the Javits Center in New York City or for either, the highest I've seen was 70. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's no fucking joke. And 75 is insane. It was 90 fucking dollars, 90 fucking dollars. And there was no space. Well, okay, at the $90 one, there was space because nobody was trying to pay that. But when you go to some of the other parking lots that are a little further out from the convention where you'd have to walk maybe about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, it's like 50 bucks. There was no space. And th to make matters worse, um, there's no fucking parking attendants. And, like, you can also book parking online, but then, like, you show up, you'll show up at the space and then there's no fucking space. There's nothing there. And it's like, like I almost did that. Um, I've got an app for, for parking and I almost did that shit. And uh, Shinji was like, why don't you just use the app? And I was like, let me go check it out first. And good thing I did because it was full. Even though on the app, it doesn't say that it's full. So like you could realistically pay these people for parking and then get there and then there's no fucking parking. And then there's nobody that you can talk to either. It was a mess. The best thing to do is just to, um, to get in there early um, and secure parking. Saturday was a bigger mess because Friday I knew that the parking was bad. But Friday night I had met up with my friend and... Um, we had went out to eat and stuff like that. And in that area, there was like a Target. Yo, Friday night was terrifying because that was the first time I was walking around LA kind of like by myself. <laughs> um, and I just, I didn't know where anything was. I didn't know the area. It was nighttime. I didn't know where anything was. I found a, a Target, knew that there was a Target in the area, saw there was a Starbucks. Y'all know I need to have my coffee in the morning. And it's like, it's it's all day. It's, it's LA heat. I need to eat. I need to make sure that I'm taking care of myself. So <laughs> I, I found I found all of this out Friday night when I was out with my friend. And then Saturday morning, I'm getting to the convention. I get there fairly early. And unknowingly, I'm online for the parking lot, for the $25 parking lot that's literally right across the street from the convention. Y'all, my stupid ass gets off the line because I'm like, hold up. I don't know how far the distance is from this target to the convention center. Maybe I should just drive over, pick up what I need and then find parking it afterwards. Foolish mistake, foolish mistake. Y'all, I picked up what I needed, got my coffee, got my breakfast, got some snacks. Cause I, I typically buy extra food for the day. Cause you never know. Um, y'all, I get back. Everything's full. Thus your girl spends another two hours looking for fucking parking. <laughs> on saturday and i missed all of my panels again and I, there were morning panels that i had wanted to get to at like 10 o'clock foolish never making that mistake again so foolish 
never doing that shit again. Anyway, um, Saturday was cool. Went to um, my second industry party, which was cool. Met up with um, Destiny Senpai uh, and Tim Liu, both of Crunchyroll, which was really dope. Um, it's nice. I feel like I feel like Destiny and I are like both trying to like I don't know. Like she actually works for Country Road. I don't work for Country. I don't work for any of the industry companies. Um, but we are both going to like the industry parties around the same time. So it was both of our second parties, and we were like, "Ooh, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too." And it was just mad nice. Um, and then Tin Lu is just always there squatting, which was you know it's always a sight to see. <laughs> um, went to the party. Um, met some people for the first time, which was really cool. Um, met a few CEOs of companies that I either have known of already or like, no, that I've known of and I've been kind of interested in. Um, I don't know if y'all know Dempa. Dempa is one of them. Um, where is this book at? Y'all know, um, Shuzuo Oshimi, right? I've been talking about him a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me just grab this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Hold on. So, Shuzo Oshimi is a manga artist who I have started really getting into lately. Um, thanks to Super Eye Patch Wolf and his recommendation of uh, Blood on the Tracks. So this was his art book that I had picked up recently. And it is published by Dempa. So if y'all can see, can y'all see that? Y'all cannot see that. Hold on. Hold on, I got y'all right now. Give me one second. There we go. So down, down, right there, Dempa. So I really love the stuff that they publish, including uh, uh, Oshimi's work. They also do Kaiji. I don't know if y'all seen Kaiji or read Kaiji, but Kaiji is fucking fire, love it. Um, and I met the CEO, which was really cool, which was really cool. We had a good conversation, um, met him. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. hey, Kraft, what's going on? Um, met up with some familiar faces. I met um Johnny O'Brien of Noir Caesar, which was cool. Um, because I hadn't seen him in a while, and I did not know that he was gonna be there. Um, and I met a I met a bunch of other people. I met a bunch of other people in talks with a lot of people and just talking to a lot of people. I met a lot of his people too, a lot of his people, like a lot of people. And I met up with um, some familiar Viz faces that I met last year, which was also really nice. It's nice when you like, when you're going into this sort of space and then you're seeing familiar faces. Cause then it's like, hey, you remember me, you remember me. Ah, 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 ah. And the other nice thing is like, people fucking remember your name. It's dope. Like, it's fucking dope. Um, I, y'all, I really fucking love Dempa. I really love Dempa. They're not doing originals, which makes me sad, but I really love Dempa. I still love Dempa. Um, but I spoke to the CEO of Dempa at the party. And then the next day on Sunday, he remembered who I was and I almost fucking fainted. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. Oh. Oh. You know my name. Oh. So, <laughs> um, it was dope. It was dope. And then went to an after party and met up with friends, more familiar faces. Hey, Koala, more familiar faces. Um, Zeno Robinson, and we forgot to take a picture. Zeno Robinson, Fantastic Frankie. I always see Fantastic Frankie because she's NYC based, but it's always nice to see her. Um, and a few other people, a few other people, but it was just, yo, Saturday was so lit. Saturday was so lit. Um, it was so lit. Met a bunch of people from Tokyo Pop. Um, 
It was lit. It was lit. It was it was fucking lit. And then um Oh my gosh. Kuro Hebi. What's up, yo? Long time no see. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the Twitch channel. Um What's up? What's up? Yeah, Kage. Yeah. <laughs> I know, girl. I know. You ain't gotta say it, girl. I know. But um, yeah, I met a bunch of a bunch of folks. It was um, it was cool. I was trying to get met up, get met up. I was trying to meet up with um. Uh. He's either the founder or the CEO of Udon. I was trying to get to him, but I don't. The timing just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. So. I'll have to catch up with him next time with, um, I'll catch up with him next time. I ain't gonna say his name. I like the color scheme. Thank you. Thank you, Koala. Look at you coming in with the, all these compliments. Oh, thank you. Um, but yeah, went out, went out, met up with my friends at Sonic Boombox, which was dope. Um, oh, it's so nice when you have friends cause you can get into shit free and it's like, oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah went out to um a sonic boombox party i think that's my second sonic boombox party that i've been to um because we became friends at the beginning of the pandemic and there was no parties and they had a very um they had a single party an anime night market which i went to which was lit i hope that they do another one it was really it was really fun really really fun but um, met my homies at uh, Sonic Boombox. It was fun. It was fun. But as I was coming in, Fantastic Frankie and Zeno Robinson were leaving out. And I was like, what the fuck? Why are y'all leaving now? And they're like, uh, somebody passed out. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh my God, y'all, I drank way too much. I drank way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Way too much. A hydrate. What's up, Mel? What's going on? Oh man, I had so much fun, yo. I drank way, way, way too much though. I'm gonna hydrate that. Thank you so much, Koala. This is not cold at all. Y'all, I drank way too much. I was chilling though. I had my Uber. My car was parked back at the Airbnb. I was on that Uber time, bro. My goodness, I was chilling. I was chilling. It was I was feeling good. I was feeling good. Um but yeah. Yeah, it was a good night. It was a great 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 night. Met a lot of people. Um got reacquainted with some familiar faces, which is nice. Um I don't know about y'all, but sometimes we got to stretch. All right. Sometimes it takes me a minute to um to get names and faces together. I'm really bad with it. I'm trying to get better at it. But, um, you know, it was nice to have that in again, that like face name, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. But, um, it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Not too bad. Um, it was cool. And then Sunday, Sunday, I was hella hungover. It was bad. Sunday was bad. Sunday, I needed a minute to myself. I had to do a lot of sleeping. I had to do a lot of um, dragging myself out of bed, like drunkenly, like still trying to put my makeup on. It was so bad. It was so bad. I don't usually be drinking like that. And I haven't gotten drunk like that in a minute. Um, it was bad though. Them, them, drunk, them drinks snuck up on me. My goodness. Koala, koala, hang on now. Hold on, let me. I gotta, I gotta get my sound alerts together. Hold on, we gonna, we gonna get that. We gonna get that. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Give me, give me a second. Wait. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> give me a minute. Give me a minute. Hold up. Hold up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta nani. Hold on. Nani. <laughs> and a R.I.P. Right. Oh my God, Zay. Zay, all you do is just like, 
Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't do nothing. There's the RIP. I can't do nothing. You don't let me do nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Appreciate y'all for those sound alerts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, sun, Sunday was chill. <clears throat> Sunday was chill. Uh, ooh. I, I ended up getting so drunk that like, I just, I was in the corner just eating some snacks, eating some pastries, drinking some coffee, some water. And then I ended up having to just take a, take a nap in the car. so bad it's so bad it's so bad but like i was chilling though i was chilling once i got back on my feet um it wasn't bad it wasn't bad what did i do on sunday sunday i took it easy um went into the exhibition hall and was just chopping it up with some people um the applause was a good <laughs> was good timing <laughs> i know i know i know um but yeah, and then Monday came. Monday was chill. Monday was chill. Um, yeah, Monday was chill. Yo, after, I mean, I, I, I came there for the party on Saturday. That was the main thing that I had came there for. So did that. Oh, my goodness. Everything on that Saturday was, like, perfect. I, I drank. I drank one too many drinks. Just the one. I was only one drink over. Posture tech. Sorry, sorry. My bad, Koala. I got... Damn, okay, okay. But yeah, you you know when you drink and you you know when you are the drink over? You know where that threshold is at? I'm usually pretty good about stopping at that threshold, but I was like, man, fuck it, I'm in LA. The drinks is good. I'm in good company. I'm chilling. I was making friends. You know, just chatting talking about work and stuff and you know just i was feeling good i was in the zone i was in a good mindset um but the mindset got me a little fucked up because i drank one drink over and that one drink took me out bro check the earring yes thank you thank you it's giving how do you do that the heart the korean heart that's what it is i wasn't drunk drunk um I was, I never let myself get sloppy drunk. I was never sloppy drunk because I just don't be doing that. Um, but I was really drunk and very dehydrated. And that's what messed me up the day after. And I didn't eat like that. I didn't eat at the industry party, even though they had mad food there. Um, Cause I had ate a really big lunch. So I didn't eat and I didn't drink no water. And it was hot. Um, and that's what messed me up. Completely, completely messed me up. Like all types of like, uh, 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 all of that. That's that's what messed me up. So had that not been the case, I probably would not have been as badly hungover as I was. But you know, I, I, I don't be drinking like that. I haven't drank like that in a very long time. So, you know, things happen, but I have fun. That's the, that's the most important part. What's up, nerd? What's going on? How long were you there for? I was there from Friday till Monday. Uh, I got there Friday morning and then I left Friday night. Uh, so I, I left Friday night on a red eye and I fell asleep on the plane. And when I woke up, I was in New York City. <laughs> oh, thank you, Koala. If I can find some, if I can find them where I bought them at, uh, I'll get you some. She had one drink, don't know how to act. Zay, why are you so disrespectful? It wasn't one drink. I had a good, maybe four drinks, but it was all alcohol. I was going to drink beer, but I was like, let me not mix drinks. I know what Asahi tastes like. Um, I want to see, I want to get into these cocktails. That was another thing, sugar. I should have just drank the beer now that I think about it. Um... The reason why the hangovers are also really bad is like when you mix sugar and alcohol, it's not a good combo. It always fucks you up. And these cocktails had a lot of, one of them had a mad sugar in it. I got to the bottom. I was like, oh, damn. But um, 
yeah it was just a, it was a bunch of factors that left me feeling fucked up afterwards like completely that part yeah sugar and alcohol is not a good mix bro it's not a good mix so i had these sugary ass cocktails i hadn't eaten i wasn't drinking water um and in la it'd be hot so it was just a bad ass horrible combination of stuff listen i have time and energy today i'm dead Yo, Zay acting funny. Zay acting different with this new job. Zay, Zay acting, he out here acting different. Hold on. <laughs> Zay is out here acting real different, bro. Real different. New job got me back on my violence. Truly, truly. You just out here being extra. What's up, Mars? Me being straight edge, I have no idea what we're talking about. Yo, I'm not even going to hold you. I don't even be drinking like that. I do no nothing. I do no, no nothing, y'all. I do nothing. The most I'll do is drink, and I don't even be drinking like that anymore. I, I'm typically straight edge adjacent these days, um, and I might have a sip here and there, but I don't really be drinking nothing. But, you know, I was in LA. I was chilling. I was at an industry party. I was meeting people that, like, are responsible for the shit that I love, stuff that I've seen online, and I'm just like, oh, my God, this is so cool. And like, you know, trying to talk to people that I'm trying to get in good with, you know, that I'm trying to read my story. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was feeling good. I was chilling. I was chilling out. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Hopefully it happens more than once in my lifetime, but you know, I was going to enjoy myself. So that's what I did. Hail, hail, GG. <laughs> straight edge. Yeah, straight edge adjacent. Come on now. Crunchyroll, San Jose. Yeah, I'm not going to that. That is, um, your girl is tapped out. <laughs> your girl is tapped out. I also need to focus on um, working on Resenter. So, you know, the adults are talking. <laughs> I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about Crunchyroll, but, you know, I already went out to AX. I got to focus on creating work now. So, oh my gosh, Koala, you and these you and these these posture checks i'm doing my best man so i got a new sleep schedule i want to cause nothing but problems right right like you were gone it was peaceful it was quiet as hell for the past like how many months and then all of a sudden all of a sudden you out here wanting to cause confusion and chaos and problems i see how it is oh my gosh koala oh my gosh all right let me just sit back this, this, oh my gosh. Not you too, nerd. Oh my gosh. What's up with y'all? Y'all want me to be like a news reporter? Today in anime news. Like, <laughs> what you, what you want? So I got a short term job. Congrats, nerd. Koala got money to spend. Right. I ran out of hydration points. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly why. I had to put a limit on that because Joby came out of here one time during one stream. It was just like trying to make me go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh, no, we got to we got to <laughs> we got to cut that one short. Oh, <laughs> yoga routine. Truly like y'all. Come on now. Anywho. Oh, so, ooh, what's up, Brandon? Hold on, we got to stretch. Don't be a bozo. Oh, my gosh. Be nice. The best memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! The entirety of the Battle City arc. Ooh. Creating my own card game with friends before the actual game was widely available. The countless hours playing with friends in the old hood. Aww. Thinking we were doing something. Oh, what's up, Brandon? Oh, that was beautiful, bro. That was beautiful. Clip that. <laughs> oh, Mars. Oh, my God. Oh, that was sweet. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, it's a hard morning, yo. It's a hard morning. 
It's a hard morning. We were sharing some of our memories. You know, Ocean, Ocean said that Yu-Gi-Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh manga was the first manga she's ever bought and read. Insane, you guys, insane. Freaking insane. Oh man, got him in 4K. Oop, oop. <laughs> Wait, what are y'all talking about? Yu-Gi-Oh was my was that childhood also. OG manga was bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I never really read the manga for Yu-Gi-Oh. I was mostly watching the anime um on like Saturday mornings and stuff. It is it's a fundamental it's a fundamental uh part of any like anime nerds early repertoire. Like it's a it's a cornerstone for sure. Like it doesn't get enough credit. Well, does it though? I mean, uh, kind of. I feel like everybody just throws all their love into Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and that's it. As if none of these other things didn't exist, but it was definitely fundamental. It was up there for sure. My best memory is, well, getting my first pack and getting a black rose dragon that came with the pro. Oh my goodness. Koala, not you repeating it and them catching you again. Girl. <laughs> Wisen up, child. I started reading what's regarded as season zero last year. Damn. Yeah, Yami did not fuck around. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. I heard that the manga is brutal. I wasn't laughing at anyone dying. Oh, I didn't even know that that was a conclusion. People were. Oh, I see. <laughs> Zay, your timing on that was terrible, bro. Your timing was terrible. Watching Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D with a friend. Mm. We can't, can we make a Yu-Gi-Oh! Can we make it a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. That was definitely... People were definitely thinking about uh, their properties like that after Yu-Gi-Oh came. Like, the shit blew up. It blew up. 5DS. I never, I'll be honest, I never watched any of the other Yu-Gi-Oh animes. I was always, like, mostly into the original. And the original, I never finished. But I was trying to rewatch it. There's, here, it's, there's times here and there where I will, like, rewatch Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't always get very far. What's up, Bionic Git? Um, I don't always get very far, but recently, I think like like earlier this, not earlier this month, like earlier or like mid-June, while I was working at night, I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! So it was like, fuck. <laughs> Just fuck. I think I stopped watching after they were dueling. They were at dueling school. Is that 5D? Are they at a dueling school? Is that what's happening there? OG stroke the love Egyptian. Yes, Brandon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So I think I did get past the original tournament um, with Pegasus. Because I remember, I don't remember exactly what was happening plot wise. But I do remember that like Bakora was, I mean, Bakora has always been like, you know, kind of funky. But I remember Bakora being like, really up there and then that one that one brown lady who i think was also like a villain and also had a um i think she had the scepter i don't remember i just i remember watching it but i don't always remember everything that was going on it was just kind of like in the background for me brandon felt i felt the need to add the fine print good zay because you know It's up here in 4K. One with the motorcycles. I don't remember any of those, yo. Or not that I don't remember them. I ain't watch any of them. Dueling school is GX. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh my gosh. I, um... You know what's so annoying? 
you know what's really annoying is that even though Kage and I were trying to figure out these commands, these shit still don't work. I don't know what's going on. Truly, I don't. I think it might have to do with how I have uh, the stream signed in. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I just found out he died running. Uh, that's rough, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was going to put like RIP in the title, but I thought that that might be a little too, um, too unapproachable for the stream and like just coming at it from a negative light. So apologies. This is your first time hearing it, but you know, just talking about some positive stuff, what people's best memories are. Uh, how they got into Yu-Gi-Oh. Definitely my best memories were, it was very Saturday morning cartoon. Just like Saturday mornings, I would just be up eating cereal, watching Yu-Gi-Oh, not really knowing what the hell is going on, but like also being really impressed and just like, just trying to understand and like, just, just like, it was just a vibe, you know what I mean? Which is why I, I feel like, and I'm talking a lot, sorry y'all, I'm supposed to be working, but, <laughs> um, which is why I feel like, I don't know, it just, Yu-Gi-Oh just never felt like anime for me, and that's probably for kids' fault, but that was definitely like, it was just, it had a very American feel, like the, the, the way that it came out and how I experienced it, but it just wasn't an American property. I don't know, just like that, that blends. It, it, I don't know, it does something to you. It does something to you. It's some shit, man. Why does 60 seem to be the bad number? It does seem to be, yeah, that does seem to be the, uh, the number for sure, for sure. I remember um, Naoki Urasawa talking about how, a few years back, cause he's past the age of 60 now, but he was talking about how, uh, before his 60th birthday, the year before, he was like, well, I'll be 60 uh, this year. Hope nothing happens. <laughs> and I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's like the 23 Club. No, not the 23 Club. The 27 Club for, like, musicians. Uh, the 60 Club is just where it's at. Saturday morning, Yu-Gi-Oh! was best Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to take that shit. Yes! Oh, Brandon! Oh! We see each other. We see each other. I wasn't always able to tape um, uh, the Saturday, like, you know, any of the Saturday anime. But definitely the Toonami stuff. Because, you know, I ain't have no cable. So whenever I would go to my grandma's or my aunt's, better believe. Because we did have a VHS player at my house. Which is why I love movies. Because we didn't have cable. We just had... VHS and I would watch a bunch of VHS movies all the time but um I would go to my grandma's or my aunt's and just tape Toonami all the time all the time Kids WB was lit back in the day it was it was it was so good colorfully dressed people with lots of bells playing a children's card game they do, yeah, a lot of mangaka do leave us too early. It's, it's incredibly sad. It is incredibly sad. Um, and it's made infuriating when you have certain fans out there who are just like, well, I guess the story's not gonna end now. And it's like, man, fuck off, fuck off. This is a whole person's life happening. Like, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's a lot and it's like, Oh, it's always people not doing nothing that just be saying the rudest shit. So fucking rude, yo. I watched so much anime going to my aunt's house. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I used to record. Yo, I was like a fucking video shop. How many VHS I recorded anime on. It was crazy. Definitely recorded more than um, a few episodes of Aroni Kenshin and Yu Hakusho crazy yeah brandon a whole fucking human being and like people act like these people and their lives are meaningless unless they're producing stories for them and it's like you need to get your priorities together because that's just that's not fucking cool at all at all 
I used to have it like that. Oh no. <laughs> Nerd, I love that though. I love that. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I totally understand where you're coming from with that too. Like I, I've, I've been there <laughs> with like, it, like if the tape wasn't necessarily broken, it was definitely fucked up. Like it have that, and then like start like playing normally. Like I've definitely had that happen to my tapes. It's crazy. It's a person's life, not a bullshit IP. Yeah, yo, there's a tweet that I that I made in response to somebody else's tweet talking about Togashi. Cause you know, Togashi is always, he's always um, the first one to be talked about, about this, you know, the hiatus situation. But, and this was before we found out that he couldn't sit for two years, but I was like, you know, this man has health problems. Like what's up with y'all? Y'all are, y'all are weird. He has health problems. And somebody commented under my tweet, and I, I've shared this with y'all before, I think. I will never not share this because I have health problems, and I'm coming into the industry trying to create stories with health problems. I'll be goddamned <laughs> if anybody reading my stuff is like, oh, you, you know, it, that's cute that you're trying to recover, but, like, where's the story? Like, okay, I don't need you reading my stuff. <laughs> you can go. But somebody commented under my comment, like, ooh, I kind of don't care, though. And it's like, are you serious? And then people were liking the tweet. And it's like, y'all are weird. Y'all are really weird. Y'all are fucking weird. Y'all are weird. And it only comes out now that the man couldn't sit for fucking two years. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. People are, people are weird, bro. Fucking weird, weirdos. Tokaji names stay in their mouth, but none of these. Right, exactly, Kage. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I hope you ripped them a new one. I don't even, um, I don't even, like, I don't even have the time to rip nobody a new one on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Not, not at this time. Maybe when I was like 18, maybe, but at this point in time, I, I don't have time for that. Um, the it's, it's out there. It's, it's out there. You know what I'm saying? Like people will find this and see this and like side eye. And like I said, this was before it came out that he couldn't sit for two years. Can you imagine not being able to sit down for two years? Could you imagine? Like, that's insane. Could you imagine how in like, and listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> I my situation is nowhere near the can't sit for two years uh point, but I have been uh, and I think I shared this with y'all in the server, sort of recently, where I might have shared it on stream too. I was sitting at my desk so often because I was working that like the nerves in my arms started to fucking uh I, I had pins and needles because I was I was doing this and I was leaning on my arms for too long for multiple hours with, throughout the day because I was working and for like a week I just had pins and needles and my arms were numb for fucking for a week y'all um y'all know when y'all legs fall asleep and you get that numb tingle imagine that shit being in your arms and for days and you don't know when the shit's gonna go away that's something that I went through personally. I, I cannot imagine not being able to sit for two years. And the fucking pins and needles shit scared the shit out of me. So like, I don't know. The, pa the fact that like people's, like you can't understand people's humanity unless they're creating something for you. That is the ugliest side of like creating comics, creating manga. Um, telling stories in general, especially when you're still in the middle of telling that story and life happens like bro fuck off go find something else to read there's so much stuff out there there's so many books and and stories out there that you can consume you you have more than enough stuff out there to stay busy until people can get their shit together so that they can finish their stories it's ridiculous it's fucked up it's fucked up ain't got time for internet arguments now it takes so much energy for no reason facts facts it's disgusting
I wish the most survivable food poisoning possible on people. <laughs> like, right, like, I ain't trying to kill you. I ain't going to wish that on you. But I just hope that you are out there somewhere shitting your brains out. <laughs> like, <laughs> just not, not just having a fucked up day. Just, just stomach a gurgling, like sweaty booty, everything, all of that. Just, just get all of that. But I want you to live. I want you to survive. <laughs> I just want you to be really uncomfortable for the next few hours. Absolutely. I fucks with that nerd. I fucks with that. There's so much stuff like that. Truly, truly. And there's so many different types of media. Like there's manga, there's American com, there's French comic. There's all types of different comics. You can read whatever you want. You could read actual like, like prose, like books that don't have any photos and like pictures or artwork in them. You can watch movies. You can play a video. There's so much shit to consume to distract you while this person is getting their health together so that they can work on their stuff. Like, come on. My bad, y'all. Sorry. If y'all were eating, I'm so sorry. But, you know, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I fucks with that. I fucks with what Nerd is saying. You know, just, just throw in a little bit of salty, sassy energy out there. So just so that your stomach is a little blah, 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 blah. But, you know, you don't die. I don't want you dying. That is not New York lingo. I just made that up on the fly. But now, now we know what it is. Now we, now we got to think together. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to take a quick break. I've been talking for a whole hour. That's crazy. I got to get started with work. Um, I still got to figure out what we're doing. I think I might work on these stickers that I'm trying to do. I'm not leaving. I'm just, I got to go to the bathroom, bro. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to work on these stickers, these like horror manga panel stickers. And I wanted to add some text. I think I'll start off doing that. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. But before I take a quick break, yeah, look at the look at the the drip. We got the uh some Junji Ito drip. I do not have very many Junji Ito um shirts. As odd as that sounds. I have almost all of the books, but not a lot of shirts. And I keep seeing people with like Junji Ito merch and it's just like, it's my time. So <laughs> I bought two shirts. Um, I got this one. This is official from Viz. And then I got another shirt that is from official from Crunchyroll, but it's in the wash right now, but it's so cool. It's the coolest fucking shirt. I was wearing it in the photo for, um, uh, at the industry party. It, it's on my Instagram. Go see the Instagram y'all. Mr. for an hour. I forget. Cause I only just, yeah, I, it's been an hour now, bro. He doesn't strike me as someone who have a ton. Junji Ito, Junji Ito has a shit ton of merch, Brandon, a sh between Viz and between Crunchyroll, especially Crunchyroll, a ton of merch. And, um, I don't know how y'all feel about like high fashion or like fashion brands, but like Yoji Yamamoto, uh, Yoji, Yoji Yamamoto's like fashion uh, designs and stuff is, it's, it's part of this fashion movement in Japan where I don't remember the name of the movement, but where like you wear oversized clothes, it's typically black and it's very, um, it's very Japanese and the fact that like the clothes are oversized and like kind of sh like baggy and like, sh hold on, seeing it will make more sense um, than me just telling y'all. But Yoji Yamamoto has a collection with Junji Ito too, where he has like patches of Junji Ito artwork on some of his clothing. And it's like, it's, it's so good. It's expensive though. I'd like to get something, but it is, it's expensive. It's like $500 for a fucking t-shirt, y'all. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the, uh, the Yoji Yamamoto stuff. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get more like, trying to get more into like the Yoji Yamamoto style, but like, 
I don't know, it's hard. But just like oversized like silhouettes, like this kind of stuff. What else? Oh, this is very, this is very, this may be like actual Yoji Yamamoto stuff. But like this kind of look. I'm trying to, I'm trying to ease into that. But it's hard because the, the, the fabric and like the clothing has to be really good. But um, anyway, so he has a lot of merch though, Brandon, a lot, of, a lot of merch, a lot of merch. Yeah, he got the bag. He got the bag. He got the bag. I am, I'm looking at his career and I'm like, I'm looking. Anime villain got the dress. <laughs> true. True, true. Anime opening, that shirt. Anime opening. Yeah, definitely during Great Aesthetics. Definitely, like, but, like, later during Great Aesthetics. Not, like, early during Grey. Later during Grey. But, like, I'm trying to... I would like to get in there. Sometimes it feels a little too formal for me, but I really like the simplicity. And I'm a New Yorker. Black always just works. The problem is, is that I do like color. So it's like trying to mix it in there, here and there. Like mi mix up my colors with uh, some neutrals just to like balance it out. That's always my problem. It's always my problem. Anyway, let me, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in a, in a second. Um, and then we're gonna work on some art stuff. So give me a second. Actually, hang on. I'm trying to hit y'all with some new, um, with some new be right back stuff. So go on then. All right. All right. I'm going, I'm going, I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay. Alright. I'm back. Um, can y'all see? I feel like it's a little dark. Um, I feel like it's hard to see. Is that is that a fair assumption to make? Can y'all see what's happening here? Or not really? Nope. Yes. <laughs> Don't be shy, y'all. Um, I feel like y'all can see. Well, this is horrifying. I love it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, I want to make some stickers out of these. I got to figure out um, what, what the dialogue is going to be. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't for Resenter. Um, DreamCon is coming up, so I am running out of stuff for Dream, for any convention, truly. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to get some designs going, some horror stuff, and, um, this is where I'm at right now. And I have been playing with this idea for a while. Um... I had a, another illustration. I had two illustrations of this kind of concept. Of like, I have to get up and go find it. Oh my gosh, what's up, Joby? <laughs> I had a concept for this, um, for this type of image of like a girl's face breaking apart to reveal something ugly under like a like an egg um so i'm i'm happy about this one but this one is like more creepy for sure nerve-wracking but i miss it you should go you should go brandon I think you'll have more fun than you expect, especially since, um, especially since we haven't like, you know, it's been a while since pe people have been able to go to conventions. So can't wait to hang out next week. Yes, the Mullers. I can't wait to see you in, uh, in KD. It's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. Crazy. Cannot wait to go. She looked like Zuko-ish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Joby, I'm not putting that. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I just realized that those were uh, for the dialogue. I'm not going to put that. I want to put something creepy, but like, I don't know exactly what. Something unsettling. Now we're gonna wanna rewatch Avatar. There's so many shows I wanna rewatch. Trigon is another one. Now that the new anime, the, the remake is coming out, I wanna rewatch the old one. Um Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been rewatching. There's a few ones. You can never go wrong with rewatching Avatar though. The world building and the storytelling and character development of that show is just like top tier good. Dead Man Wonderland. The skin is the healthiest part of the food. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting closer to something that's kind of like, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Hmm. Isn't the booty warrior off? Oh, Lord. I don't know what that is. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> left to wonder what it actually said. So maybe like a, like a dot, dot, 
dot. Just like a breath. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Just a... Uh... Oh, with the squiggly balloon. You know the breath is hot and it's... it's... Ooh, 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 ooh. That's giving me a, an actual reaction. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yo, Thamalus, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I was planning to do some for DreamCon. I just didn't have enough time. I just did not have enough time. Between, between, um, trying to fucking get some rest, but also like AX, I just didn't have enough time. But I'm definitely, definitely gonna be doing some enamel pins. And I saw your Hisoka. I saw your Hisoka. Fucking adorable. Fucking adorable. Congrats on that pin. You you better than me, cause I I'm such a scaredy cat when it comes to enamel pins. It's so intimidating to get started, but you know, yours looks adorable. Are you gonna sell it at DreamCon, or are you going to DreamCon solely for support? Not solely for support, but like you know, for mostly for support. I'm already rewatching it. Is Way of the House Husband that good? Like, how is that? I heard that it's not actually like an anime, that it's more of a, um, like a motion comic sort of thing happening. Absolutely, bro, of course. The hot breath, yuck. Yeah, yo, that's, that's, that's what makes it gross and like creepy. Cause you can hear the, you can hear it. You can hear the, you can hear it in 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 the in the the speech bubble i have to correct that Did you know your skin is the most nutritious organ in the body? No, oh, no, nah, that's too much, Joby. That might be too much. I don't know. That dot, dot, dot. That dot, dot, dot. I don't know, bro. I think I'm going to stick with the dot, dot, dot. I feel you on that. I had to take a long break from print making. I'm just going for support uh, for pre-order. I don't have them in hand. Ah, uh, got you, got you, got you. Right. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. How you're going about it makes sense. And also, um, I've seen people do it, but because I know how to, how they're done, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Oh, it's so like, uh, pen making is, I really want to get into it. I really do. I'm just nervous. Just nervous purvis just nervous <laughs> when you were in LA did you see that they were putting anti-theft clamps on the cheese bricks cheese bricks what are the cheese bricks I feel like I'm walking into a meme but what are what are the cheese bricks I don't know what that is I like it. I feel it being more of a motion comic is just the fact that the animation is simple. Ah, okay. I'll have to check it out. Cause the description of it that I got from, you know, just looking around was that it was more of a motion comic than like an actual, like, than like what, what you would think of for an anime. Oh my gosh, I'm not writing all that, y'all. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Although, I don't know, maybe. 
Maybe. I could always change it. I could always change it in post. One pounds cheese? Mars, what are you talking about? Cheese bricks is a bundle of cheese toast. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> I'm glad to know that I'm not the only person that says cheese toast. We've had that discussion on here, but I will never let that die. Cheese toast is the correct way to say it. To say it. I can't even say it any other way because there is no other way to say cheese toast other than cheese toast. Cheese toast or die. I know, I'm also lost. Mars, what you talking about? Those blocks? Are we talking about blocks or bricks? What's going on? What American uh, manga magazine did you find? Wait, wait. Okay, Brandon, if you know what's going on, let me know, bro, because I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. Right. May Apple. Let me figure out what, find what that is. Y'all, I don't know what y'all are talking about. Y'all are y'all are speaking, but the English is not translating, bro. May Apple magazine. Oh, oh, interesting. How long has this magazine been out? No, nerd, I know what you're talking about. I just, I don't know what a cheese brick is. Mars, Mars, you're confusing the hell out of everybody. I'm, I'm gonna need you to clear this up because now we're all intrigued. <laughs> like, like we all now want to know what, what it is that you're talking about. Less than a year, got it, got it. How'd you find out about them? On Twitter? They do have a Twitter. Those big yellow blocks. Yeah, but like, why would you refer to those as cheese blocks, though? Oh, indie comic. Okay, okay, cool. Were they a guest on the podcast? Also, I need something for her to say as well. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. That makes sense. All of these make sense. Um, what is this over here going to be saying? I was shopping for cheese and they had, oh, oh my God, Mars. <laughs> The cheese, oh, actual legitimate cheese bricks had uh, uh, the fucking anti-theft things on them. Like, <laughs> like a wheel of cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who the fuck is out here stealing bricks of cheese, bro? This isn't Aladdin. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what? Truly out here stealing bricks of cheese. That's just crazy. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you know what's the wildest about this, though? Is that they're not putting 
these anti-theft uh, electronic devices on bricks of cheese unless there is a, a brick, a cheese brick, like, thieving problem. <laughs> like, unless there's massive upticks in bricks of cheese being stolen, like, they're not doing that. Like, is there just, like, a group of people out here, like, fucking, uh, I steal only what I can afford. Like, <laughs> just stealing fucking bricks of cheese? Like, what's going on here? That shit is wild. One jump ahead of the limit. Like, what? Joby, no. <laughs> I'm the cheese bandit. I'm the wildest provolone lover in the West. <laughs> what is your favorite cheese? I think my favorite cheese is a mix between... It's a tie between Pepper Jack and... Um, uh, the other P name cheese, not Prevalone. Parmesan. I'm between a uh, Parmesan and um and Pepper Jack. They're both peas. Wow, but yeah. What are your favorite cheeses? Shinji is a basic bitch when it comes to cheese. It's either um, <laughs> it's either blue cheese or mozzarella. But it, I have a feeling his his favorite is probably mozzarella. That's all we be buying in the house. Does she need to say something? Her electro alone could sell this. Mmm. Uh, hold on. What effect? Oh, a crackling noise? Oh, I missed that. Ooh, okay. That's fair. That's fair, Brandon. That's fair. I'll have to test out how to do that crackling noise. I actually don't. I don't think I've ever done that before. They have, um, they have assets for you to be able to do those. Never used it before. Kobe Jack, Pepper Jack, love Parmesan, but also I'm on. Why are you unsure? Kobe Jack is also really good. Kobe Jack is pretty fire as well. As far as what she could say, words could still be good here. Yeah, right? Like she could be saying something. I was thinking of having her monologue something, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, if, if it's not her monologuing, then it's like some sort of narration about the thing. But yeah. So you could just know when your anime drops the blooper and the blooper series comes out, I'm signing up to be a voice actor just to say that quote. I'm dead. Yo, y'all remember that? Y'all remember when the old anime shows used to drop the bloopers and the voice actors used to go crazy? I remember watching shit on, um, what is it? Oh, what was the name of this? Um, oh, fucking, I think it was called the Anime Network. Oh my God. Me and Kat used to watch this in junior high all the time. I think it was the Anime Network. Oh my gosh. It was that what it was called? Do y'all remember that? I can't be making that up. Yes. Yes. The Anime Network. Yo. Yo. So on the Anime Network, they used to have shows like um, Full Metal Panic, Sayuki. What else did they have on there? Azumanga Daioh was up there. Lucy Christian and Greg Arias were like the top two freaking... Uh, voice actors that were on there. All right, Mars. Catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. Also, yes, Poon, Puni, Poemi. I remember that. And um, Princess Tutu was up there too. But yes, yes. The memories, bro. I used to love watching the bloopers from the voice actors. 
But yes, have a good day, Mars. Take care. We will catch you next week. Have a good day at work. Wait, you said you were going to work, right? Oh, no, I, don't, I actually don't know. Oh, you, you did say that. I'm bugging. Okay. Have a good day at work. Damn, yo, the old anime network shows. Crazy, yo. Crazy. Yo, the Sayuki bloopers used to go in. Enjoy work to the best of your ability. <laughs> fair, fair, fair caveat. I think um, I'm debating whether or not to make this whole area here black. I'm not sure. As far as this chick, this would be like here. Something like this. I think this would be kind of cool. I gotta make sure I'm doing it right though. Let me check. How'd I lose my GG emojis? Because you gotta be subbed. That's how you get them. Either make that spot black or wear balloon itself, some sort of curse or something. For this top one to make the word balloon black, you're saying? Mm. Yeah, the effect on the bottom is looking good. The word balloon black might work. So like, you know, both of these characters are gonna be dark skinned. So I have to think about the white balance. So I'm a little unsure of making this whole thing black. But also, you know, if I do make the word balloons black, I'll have to white these out. I might have to do some of this in post just to like mess around with it. Being a mod makes me feel like I'm one of those night security guards. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I just need a big gut and a big ass um, thing of coffee with a donut, bro. <laughs> you could be like the security guard from um, the multiple security guards from fucking uh, Terminator 2 <laughs> at the vending machines. <laughs> Of like a candy bar. Black dot, black with white dots to emphasize in humanity. Mmm. I do love black balloons with white dots. Mmm. Okay. I do think that that's fair because, like, this dude's gonna be white. This dude's gonna be like ghostly white. She's gonna be toned. So figuring out what happens between this like space is crucial. So I do think that the black balloon could work. I think that that could work. Part of me wants to do that in post though. Hmm. Hmm. But yo, those guards in T2 got all the way fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> My profession's a hard one. Facts. Facts. 
Oh my, yo, that one uh, security guard at the mental hospital who got bodied by the T-1000 uh, as, as himself, like as the, like, the doppelganger of the, the security guard. <laughs> that man did not deserve that fate, bro. That man did not deserve that fate at all. Yeah, do it in post. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll fix I'll fix this in post and mess around with it. But I'll probably I'll leave these this white. Make that black. Tone her. Yeah. Yeah. Let's work on this one now. Being nah, man, I'm a homeless man trying to break into the self-storage. Oh my God. <laughs> you mean the one that, yeah, bro. The one that freaking, uh, he just, he did one of these, zoop, right through the head and he dropped the coffee. That man ain't have to go out like that. Just run-of-the-mill security guard, bro. Um, let me check through some of these panels to make sure I'm doing this somewhat correctly. I hate when um I want to use certain certain effects and like I can't find it when I need it when I'm not looking for it I can find it but when I when I need to find it I can it's elusive gone fully escaped me I'm so happy right now. You know that scene in detail. Hell, yo, T2, one of my favorite films as a kid, bro. Like, one of the favorites. Because, so like like I said, I used to watch a lot of VHSs because we didn't have no cable. But Saturday mornings, after the cartoons were done, on Channel 11, they would, they would do one of a few things. I can't remember which order they did this in. But... I think after the cartoons, they would play a movie. And then after that movie, they would play like Hercules and Xeno or vice versa. After the cartoons, Hercules and Xeno and then movie. I don't remember which one, but on channel 11, they used to play T2 all the fucking time. Love that movie. Love it. And like, I didn't understand, um, I didn't understand Sarah Connor's character like that in T2 until I saw the first Terminator, but I saw it, I saw T2 first. But then after I saw the first Terminator, I was like, oh, I got it. I, I get it. I get it. Cause she was such a badass until, um, until, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character came out, came out the elevator and she was like, no, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, girl, if you don't body this man, like, I got it. I get it now. I get it now. Literally the same Terminator. I get it. I used to watch that shit all the time. My grandma and I both. Oh, that sounds so nice. Truly, that sounds so nice. My grandma did not fuck with sci-fi and fantasy. Like, my grandma was very much... She liked to watch basketball. She liked to watch sitcoms. And she liked to watch award show stuff with, like, performances. That was about it. She might watch a drama here and there. But, like, you know, my grandma was not about that sci-fi life. <laughs> she was very much of the Lord. Like, if they have nothing to do with basketball, a performance of the Lord, she was like, mm, okay. I don't know. I can't find this effect. I might have to just wing it. Okay, I might have to just wing it. 
It is what it is. Sarah Connor is a goater. Yo, she's so fucking goated. She needs more recognition, bro. Needs more recognition. <laughs> Yo, that no, that like high pitch ass. I was like, girl, what are you screaming like that for? I didn't know, Brandon. I didn't know. I get it now though. That movie is fucking. Oh my god, it's in, it's it's oh it's so good. It's so good. It's so good in all the best ways that a movie can be good. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. Hold on, I don't know if I'm doing this right per se. Well, we'll figure it out though. feel like this line could probably be a little smaller, but let's see. My Nana loved watching Wheel of Fortune and Golden. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very, it's a very, uh, Nana thing of shows to be watching. <laughs> My grandma was about Oprah, um, basketball, award shows, BET awards, could not fuck with that BET award, she, she was on it, and, um, you know, a Lifetime movie, specifically something where redemption is like, you know, a main theme, that was her thing. Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune did used to be lit, though. Pretty sure I got my love of fantasy and sci-fi from her when we did get cable. Oh, that's so sweet. My grandma was not that hip. R.I.P. I'm sorry, grandma. <laughs> but my grandma was like, not about it, bro. It makes me a little sad, but you know, we still have some good memories. flip this around yeah my grandma was like a sucker for Oprah bro she loved her some Oprah lifetime lifetime movies are traumatizing <laughs> facts hold on I'm missing some of what y'all are saying Figuring out as you go is a pinnacle facts. She used to have me and all my cousins guessing with that show. Yo, I used to, um, I used to love Will of Fortune. Jeopardy, I did not appreciate Jeopardy enough as a kid. I used to hate watching Jeopardy because I, I hated the seriousness of it. Like you could feel how serious the show was. But as I've gotten older, I have a, I have a better appreciation for Jeopardy. And like, you know, Alex Trebek as well, RIP. Y'all, we getting old. Everybody we know when we were young, they are like in the sky right now, bro. It's, it's not a fun feeling. It's not a fun feeling. There was this one, oh my God, what Lifetime movie was that? Oh my goodness, what the hell? They got her out, but I was like, they will never find me. <laughs> Golly. 
my grandma was the reason I was into cop detective show. Yo, every if you didn't have a grandma who was into a cop detective show, it was an aunt. But like, yo, that that was real. That was truly the fucking like true crime boom. You know what I mean? Like that was truly the fucking boom. Just like. You know, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like black women specifically don't get included enough in the true crime discussion. But like a lot of the black women out here that love true crime is from a grandma or from an auntie watching some sort of detective show or like forensic files or some shit. I don't care what you say, bro. I don't care what you say. Word, Matlock, Murder, She Wrote, Columbo, Facts, all of that. All of that. Yo, not gonna lie. Um, y'all ever see Dragnet? <laughs> this is so old, but Dragnet used to be my shit, bro. Dragnet used to have me, like... I don't know, bro. Dragnet low key had me respecting the law, bro. Like <laughs> low key, like ooh, these cases. Dragnet is on it, but uh, you know, it was a fallacy. It was a fallacy. I remember Dragnet commercials, but never watched it. Yeah, Dragnet was good. One of my favorite Dragnet episodes was um where they were trying to tackle the, like, the LED, LED, the uh, LSD stuff. Like, and, like, those episodes where they were trying to, like, stop the LSD dealers. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> people would be on LSD in the episodes, and they'd just be, like, just, like, in the corner. <laughs> like, <laughs> they always made it mad serious, just, like, <laughs> yeah, I know LED. <laughs> oh man, they were LED in the brain, bro. But like the LSD episodes, <laughs> they just be like, like dancing in the background, just like lost or like just looking all types of crazy. And it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm still trying to find this um, this static effect. I cannot find this thing. Oh man, the obligatory the obligatory anti drug campaign episodes. Yeah, I know that's so crazy, so freaking crazy. The priest that was a detective. Those shows were wild back in the day, and them crazy soaps. Yeah, the soaps. Oh my god. My grandma used to be on those soaps too. I think she used to watch um she used to watch all of them. Um uh I forget what channel it is. Maybe like NBC or something like that. Or no. Maybe ABC because Oprah used to come on ABC, but she used to watch all her soaps and then um Oprah and then she used to watch the news after Oprah. And it's like, Grandma, <laughs> Grandma, go for a walk. <laughs> like, you can't be sitting here watching all this TV. You better go for a walk. There was a whole YouTube series poking fun at TV episodes like that called A Very Special Episode. <laughs> Yo, and they used to always give the, uh, the disclaimer at the beginning. This episode tackles, you know, uh, what is it? scenes of drug addiction and <laughs> it's like y'all like if you don't cut it out if you don't cut it out I still cannot find this effect this is what I'm talking about y'all when I'm looking for the damn thing I can't find it I'm finding similar effects but not quite what I'm looking for I might just have to, um, I don't know. 
I guess I just have to make this a little thinner. I don't know. Oof. Oh man. I miss my grandma. She was a cool lady. She was a little a little paranoid, but she was a cool lady. R.I.P. Grandma. You was a real one. We all have her face. <laughs> We all have her face. Literally, if it's not her face, it is a carbon copy of my granddad's face. Mm -mm -mm. This is as good as it's gonna get, y'all. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Mine's too. Also, I'm gonna put the playlist in the server because it's, yes, please do, please do, please do. Anything poking fun at uh, those kinds of like, super anti like drug beliefs, like on the shows and stuff like that. Yeah, throw all that in the server. Y'all ever see, um? y'all ever see the movie, uh, we for madness this is a mega throwback like this is like you went to film class and you watched this film because you had to for a grade um y'all ever see that i guess the point across i don't think it needs to be one-on-one -on -one for this direct gotcha gotcha that's fair I might be able to just have one of these going though. Let me mess with it a little bit. Please tell me y'all have seen uh, Reefer Madness. Yo. <laughs> At my school, um, my my high school, I think it was. We had a film class. I think it was a, an, a, I think it was an elective. And this is high school, so like, I went to like the mean arts high school. And we had um, we had a film class, and um, oh, they showed um, they showed. They showed Reefer Madness, and I was like, what is this? All right, Brandon. Let me see, actually. You know what? Okay, I'll send it to y'all in the server, because, like, y'all know my computer is, like, like, not about it. If I try to find it on YouTube, my computer's going to be like, all right, now listen here. <laughs> so I'll send it to y'all in the server, but Reefer Madness was another one of those, like, anti uh anti drug movies that came out in like the 40s or something like that it's like the 40s or the 50s but it's so dramatic like it's so dramatic it's so fucking dramatic um <laughs> it's basically um you have these like teenagers who did not look like teenagers they look like grown ass adults but you had these teenagers who we're meeting up to go smoke pot in this room, this like hotel or something with some adult who was like giving them pot. And um, they were listening to jazz. Cause like at that time that was like the devil's combo, jazz and pot. But um, it was, <laughs> it was just so weird. Like the way that they tried to make it like, I don't know. I'll have to share it in the server. Cause it's so, it's so weird. 
You got this one dude that the one adult who is just like all he's just like supposed to be the mean pothead. He's just like smoking all the time, all day, every day, and playing jazz on uh this piano. And he's got his like leg up on the piano playing it and it's just like playing the piano and like smoking like furiously. I think he had like two joints in his mouth or something. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Like what is this? What what is this really? Oh man. Oh man. It was just like, oh, like what is what is what is this? <laughs> like. And at that time, I was such a dare kid. But even I was like, this seems a little silly. Come on now. Like this is this is not. <laughs> Y'all are not doing this correctly. Y'all are y'all are not doing this correctly. I gotta show it to y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we are getting there, actually. I was a little worried. I'm starting to become a little less worried now. I think this was a good way to go. Oops, sorry. All right. I feel like the lines up here are not as tight as they need to be. Okay, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this. So I have a question. I need your, your thoughts. So what I wanted to do with these stickers was, um, I wanted to make them, let me wait before I put that there. I wanted to make them holographic. So all the bits that are white or like lighter would be holographic. And all of the, the black bits would just be black. But I'm kind of wondering if I should like make these clear instead. What do y'all think? Clear or like holographic? I think, um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm personally not sure if I should go clear or holographic. Originally, it was just going to be holographic, but now I'm like, this would also be really cool 
um, clear as well. Holographic would be cool. Would be cool. What's the design? These two designs, Mega. These are both gonna be stickers. So for clear, the white is gone. Yeah. So where there's white, it would be clear. So like this whole, like for her, for example, this whole static bit, her eyes, teeth, um, probably earrings would be white. And then all the black and then her skin where it's toned would some bits maybe might be clear but like yeah run that again i missed the first part but i agree with mega um both of these are gonna be there i'm doing these so that they can be stickers i was going to originally do all of these both of these as hollow holographic so that they like that they glimmer. I don't know. Do I have my sticker? I never have anything I need when I need it. Damn. <laughs> I have a sticker that's holographic, but, um, oh gosh, I don't know where it is. But anyway, I was going to make it holographic where all the white bits or like the non dark black bits would be holographic. But I'm wondering if I should do clear instead so that wherever it would have been holographic, it would be clear. What if you do glow in the dark? Um, glow in the dark is cool, but I think there's too much detail going on here for glow in the dark. I would do glow in the dark for a simpler design. So for like, I don't know, like a mascot character or for like, just like a skull, like something very simple where like you know without a shadow of a doubt what it is. I think glow in the dark for these might be doing a little bit too much. But I'm stuck now on either hollow or clear. Technically I could do both, but that doesn't mean people are gonna pay for both. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. What do y'all think? I say hollow, hollow. Hmm. Okay. We got a whole uh, vote for hollow. To be honest, I might get like a very small batch of clear ones just because I want to see what that looks like. But I am, I'm still for hollow as well. I do have other designs that I want to do for, um, a hollow sticker too though. But what do the rest of y'all think? We'll probably use the medium. Hello, Kiko loves. What's up? Chillin', chillin', what's going on with you? Holo YOLO. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't it be like holo yellow? Y'all, yellow? Thank you. What's going on? How's your day going? Happy Thursday, friend. Um. Y'all really want the, the, the hollow, okay. Well, I mean, that's two people. We got a few people in here. Speak now or forever hold your peace.
do both. <laughs> you greedy. I think I may do both, but I, that doesn't mean I'll sell both. I just want to see what the clear looks like. Because I've seen, um, I've seen clear panel stickers and they do look pretty cool. But I, I want to see what they both look like. Hollow, hollow, fuck it, emboss. <laughs> I mean, I could do that too. I could do that too. That is that is also an option. Emboss though, I don't know if I'd actually emboss it though. But hollow, hollow, okay, okay. Seems kind of unanimous. Let me just grab this edge here. I need to um I need to get my t-shirts back up and running as well. Cuz I I am pretty much tapped out on t-shirts. another good thing about going to um ASIN as well I was able to look at what some other folks were doing which is always nice because it's really inspiring to be in the um in the artist alley yo people's booths at the artist alley were like on another level completely on another level like the dedication to to creating an experience at the booth <laughs> i was not expecting that i was like whoa y'all went in somebody had their booth made of like um made of cardboard and i know that that sounds ghetto but like it was really well done it looked like something from a video game almost where it was just like these cardboard shapes that were like cut out perfectly to fit the design to like make the booth look like um i think it was supposed to just look like a brick house or something but it was like it was mad creative and i'm just like oh this is this is a whole nother level this is a whole nother level <laughs> like the booth designs were crazy Left hand crew, hell yeah. Lefties all the way. Yeah, I need to um I gotta up I gotta up my my table, my my booth game, yo. Gotta stand out. Hell I mean, yeah, hell yeah. They definitely stood out to me because I was like, is that cardboard? It was it was cool. It was it was definitely like an experience. Come over here first. I need to um Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do it in enough time for DreamCon. Cuz I I want to start getting some pages done so that I can um, be able to drop by August. But if I can't do it for DreamCon, then hopefully if I can get into anime NYC, I'll update, I'll, I'll like up my, my table, my table gang. 
I didn't um I didn't get into uh New York City Comic Con, which is like okay, <laughs> like all right, okay, <laughs> well that's fine. Um, but I don't think. Or, I don't know. I haven't gotten any word back from New York City. I mean, no, from Anime NYC. Hopefully, I can. I don't know. We'll see. I do know the event director. But I'm also, like, not trying to be that person. <laughs> so, I just added him on a facebook and he accepted me so it's like all right so we we know each other like you know you know me we met before last year like you so like i hope <laughs> like please like you know trying to trying to get in trying to get in Get a buff man and a buff woman to model your shirts outside your booth. I mean, I've seen that done. It certainly works. It certainly works. Grab some some cosplayers and be like, hey, you wanna you wanna get some free shirts? Just walk around and, and wear these shirts. It'll be great. I don't know how buff or not they'll be, but you know. Whatever is clever. Repop be playing too many games when it comes to it. They really do. And it's like, for what though? For what? Like, if y'all don't get over yourselves, let me not even get on it though. But Thamalus, you know what I'm trying to say, bro. You, you, you know, you, you know. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I've applied to, um, I've applied to, uh, to New York City Comic Con's AA before. Granted, when I applied before, uh, you know, I was not anywhere near as, on par with my work as I am now so like I get it but also in the past when I have gone to the artist alley at New York City Comic Con I have seen an artist or two or three or four or five who was just like I'm just like how did you get in here like <laughs> they tried to make it seem like it's so um exclusive but it's like how did you get in here but that's just me though i'm just saying but it's like for what and then um this year they had like an email boo-boo i guess where people got the wrong um the wrong uh what do you call this the wrong um oh my gosh <sighs> my english is going out the window they so they got the some people said no the organizers said that there was a mix up or whatever with the email so some people got the wrong um uh results not results results is not what i'm trying to say but the the whether or not they got their table they got the wrong answer I don't know what is going on in my English today. <laughs> um, and because of that, freaking Reed Pop sent me three emails saying that I did not get in. They sent me three email rejection letters. And it's like, are y'all serious? Are y'all serious? First of all, based on the criteria of who received a bogus email, I was not in under that criteria because the email address that I got had my name and everything on it. 
and apparently if you apparently people were getting the wrong name on their email so they were getting the wrong um it, it was just a mix-up the emails were supposed to go to other people and they didn't go to the people they were supposed to go to so there was a name situation and you know so basically if you got an email that didn't have your name on it and it said that you weren't able to come or that you were able to come that's not your email and it's like I that wasn't even in that criteria because my name matched my email so y'all done sent me three rejection emails for what <laughs> like for what y'all sent me an email with the first rejection then y'all sent me a second email saying that like if my name is on it then I am actually basically in my case if my name because my name was on it I actually am rejected and then sent me a third email with the with all the information correct I guess letting me know like in the batch of emails the correct emails <laughs> letting me know that I was rejected it's like, damn, I will never apply to y'all again. <laughs> like, not y'all throwing salt in my shit. Like, oh, I'm good. Never mind. <laughs> like, never mind. I'm, I'm so good. Yeah, it's really concerning. It wasn't the badge. It was, um, it was just the acceptance emails. The acceptance or rejected rejection emails. And they just had the wrong names. So they went to the wrong people. I don't know how you make that mistake. I don't know what program they're using where that mistake was made, but I got my shit three times saying that I was rejected. And it's like, damn, it's already hard enough hearing like, you know, cause it's like, damn, I was trying to go. And it's like, you might be able to go. And then in the email, it's like, but like if your name is spelled correctly like if it's actually your name then like you can't go and it's like oh oh again and then they send the follow-up with the correct batch or whatever of emails and then you get it again it's, it's like all right now all right y'all y'all are doing enough y'all y'all you know <laughs> you, you ain't gotta keep telling me this like i i got it i got it it's fine you're clogging my shit up now at this point in time like you know that's enough that's enough but yeah so that one didn't work out hopefully anime nyc i'm hoping i'm hoping keeping my fingers crossed all right this is coming out better than i thought it would actually Triple homicide, exactly, yo. <laughs> like, damn. You done slayed me three times. Three times. It's not necessary. <laughs> like, damn. Three whole times. And then gave me hope in one of them. Golly. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying how this has come out. I see where I made some mistakes on this, but I know how to avoid that for next time. But despite that, this is kind of, this is coming out kind of nice. Ruthless and sloppy just reminded me of the Jamaican meme I sent you so hard. <laughs> Oh, the, the Jamaican meme I sent? Oh my gosh, yo. Yo, Jamaicans are out of control, bro. <laughs> out of control. The dance hall culture is wild, bro. Shit is out of control. Like, it's an art form, bro, truly. It is an art form.
back for a sec what i miss it's all good i was talking about um uh i was talking about um new york city comic-con i got rejected i got a rejection letter three times because of a uh, uh, a fuck up that they had on their end with their emails like crazy it's crazy just like Y'all had to send that to me three times. Y'all just don't care, huh? Just rude. Just rude clogging up my email box. <laughs> Cons be tripping, facts. Have you read Junji Ito stuff by any chance? Buy on a get. Buy on a get. Listen now. Three times, Brandon. Three times. I'm a little sour. But buy on a get. What? Dude. Yes. Yes, of course. Of course I have read Junji Ito stuff. That is like one of my main senseis. Like one of the tops for me. I actually, um, oh my God, I'm so upset because at the convention they were selling, um, they were actually selling the new copies of Junji Ito's um, new manga called liminal zone and i was checking on instagram not instagram sorry i was checking on um what's the name of this amazon there we go i was checking on amazon and on amazon it's in pre it's on pre-order and i think they're gonna send out they're gonna ship the books out next month i was at the convention at the convention they were they had the books they had copies in stock and I missed it. I blew it. I blew it. So now I have to wait until the end of this month like a sucker. <laughs> and I had the opportunity to get it early. So upset. But uh, such is life. But I got this shirt. This is, ooh, sorry. This is really bright, but I got this. This is um this angle, the way this light is set up, This is it's giving Marilyn Manson a little bit. But yeah, um, we don't need to talk about Marilyn Manson, but you know, <laughs> we don't need to talk about him at all. Anywho, the effect turned out great. Thanks, Brandon. I like the way it looks. I did make some boo-boos, but I see where I made the boo-boos and how to avoid them next time. So, you know, that's always good. That's always good. Does this mean I have now read enough manga where I can sort of um, imitate the effects without having seen them, per se? Yes and no, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I know what I was going for. And this is, this is as close as it gets. It's not bad. It's not bad. Can anyone name all four peeps in Juji's Holy Square? Yes. Yes, the Holy Square. I need to know. How well do y'all know me? How well do y'all know me? How well do y'all know my tastes? Member one, member two, member three in Junji Ito. I'm dead. Oh my. Bro. <laughs> Zay, ciao. Now you, now you know, now you know, now you know, there is, it is not no damn member one, member two. Bro, what, what? You, you disqualify. You are disqualified. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Your ass is disqualified. <laughs> your ass is disqualified, sir. Get your ass out of here. Man said member one, member two, member three. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Kage, escort that man out of here, please. <laughs> escort that man out of here. <laughs> get his, by the collar and like get his ass out of here. <laughs> man said member one, member two, member three. Fucking dead, bro. Oh my God. Catch the double and for <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to have some Itamangas. Currently have uh Uzumaki. I brought a few other things like Gil. What did you think about Gil? Gil is one of the few manga from Junji Ito that I have not read. I've read a lot of Junji Ito. I have not read Gil. Um the the anthology for Slither, I haven't read everything in it, but I've read most of them, I think. And I gotta check, um, love sickness. Is it love sickness or love sick? I forget. I have that one. That's a newer one that I've got too. There's a bunch of Junji Ito books that I have that I haven't finished up yet. But um, I haven't. Gyo is Gyo is one of the older ones that I've had, and have not read. Dude, does that sketch show we watch in the watch? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Zay, I mean, you you should have started with that, bro, because you would have been right, actually. Probably would be on that point. Oh, thank you, Brandon. <laughs> right, now Kira Sawa. Satoshi Kan, Junji Ito, now Kira Sawa, Kintaro Miura. I got five, y'all. I got five. Kintaro Miura is the newest one that's up there. I got five. Ka Kage is close. Kage's close. Hold on. Ooh, Asano, not Asano. Asano, I do appreciate Asano, but he's definitely not part of the the square. It's about to be the fucking Fab Five because there there's five now, so. I be knowing, I just don't be knowing you feel Zay, get your ass out of here. <laughs> Man said at least I was honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did y'all forget the main dude? It's the main dude. Don't think too much. Don't think too much about it. It's the main dude. I be talking about this man all the time. T Vestan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gil was weird, but I really liked it. Gil sounds weird. Gil sounds weird. Can't remember the fourth one. You you're on the right track, Brandon. There's a shark in Gil. I think that is simultaneously pretty scary, but also pretty funny. That's what I love about Junji Ito stuff too, is that it's it's typically simultaneously pretty funny and pretty scary. Like scary, creepy, but like also funny. I I wanna try to do that. I wanna try to lean into that, but like because I don't want you know, like internet horror art is just, it's just all creepy or like all scary. I don't want to necessarily have my stuff be all scary. Dark, yes, but like there's some moments of brevity where like you can laugh at something or it's like so like, like what is that? Not, not to the full extent, not the full Ito, not the full Junji Ito, because sometimes Junji Ito stuff is like, it's so ridiculous that you can't help but laugh. Not that far over. But yeah. Yes. Brandon, good shit. You got it. It's Otomo. Zay, if you don't get your ass out of here. <laughs> Zay. I mean, oh my God. Hideo Kojima is definitely, he's definitely a great creator. But like, I'm talking about manga artists, bro. Oh my gosh. What's up, Dulces? What's going on? Oh my gosh, uh, Kage, please grab, please grab this man. <laughs> the Holy Star, oh, that's a good one, Kage. Yes, Otomo, Khan, Ito, Urusawa, and Miura. Holy Star, Holy Star works. I think I will start using that. Snake! Oh my gosh, Zay, Zay, sir, if you don't, 
If you don't get your ass. <laughs> Brandon came up with Holy Star. Oh, oh, shoot. You did. You right. You right. You right. Good one, Brandon. Good one, Brandon. That's a that's a that's a good name for it. Although, I mean, you know, we we've already had the conversation about Holy Box. We can't do that. We can't have a square. We can no longer have a square. <laughs> can't do it no more. So Holy Star sounds good. Holy Star sounds good. Overall, Gyo had a pretty interesting idea. Uh, once the thing is sort of explained, Uzumaki is my favorite so far. Uzumaki is, um, it is a good one. I'm not sure if Uzumaki is my favorite, but it's definitely up there. It, it's definitely like top tier Junji Ito. Zay, I, you, I thought you was gone, sir. I thought you was outside the club past the red rope <laughs> like on the other side of the red rope brandon the centerpiece <laughs> we need a holy star commission what does that even mean am i supposed to just draw the three i mean all five manga artists and just that's it like in a star format is that what's happening because otherwise i don't know i don't know i think um I think this is pretty much it. Let me see what this is looking like. I gotta go to the bathroom again, y'all. Drinking all this water. You girls out here exercising ever since some um, anime expo. Yeah, I've been walking, 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 walking. I'm not trying to lose that, you know? So I'm trying to get my steps in again. Trying to get my steps in just how like it was um, when I was on here last year. I was all active. I was slender, the face was thin, had the abs coming in, you know? So I'm trying to do that this year. I'm trying to get back to it. <laughs> There's a lot of Ito I haven't read yet. Gotcha. Well, I'm curious about what you think of some of his other stuff. So definitely hit me up about that in the uh, server. Like Mount Rushmore, but a star. Brandon in the center. I'm fucking dead. Like everybody's faces, like the um, like the uh, Hokage and Naruto. <laughs> Draw them in a Power Ranger transformation. Oh my god! Or Sailor Moon. Oh my god! I can't do that to Satoshi Khan or Kentaro Miura. R.I.P. to them both. I'm I'm not finna slander the dead like that. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I can't do that. It has now been written. I'm fucking dead. I saw the IG real glad you had fun. Thank you, Dulces. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I was talking about it a little bit earlier, but um, it was cool. It was really cool. I um I feel grateful for the fact that I was able to get in there to go, um that I'm trying to make some friends and like everybody so far seems to be cool peoples, you know? Just grateful that I was able to go, truly. I am not in the center. <laughs> Brandon gonna be like an honorary, like on the edge of the star. <laughs> like in between one like manga cut to the other, like in that center there. Everyone in a power stand. Oh my goodness. Maybe in a few more years, I feel that bro. I f I'm not even in my own uh, star just yet. <laughs> I'm not even in my own star. I still got shit to do, bro. Kage said you got a rap sheet, right? Kage, bro, I need you to, you got to beef up security. What's, what is this man still doing in here? Just, just chatting, just talking, just talking, spending zero channel points, zero, zero collective coins. I know he's hoarding too. I know you're hoarding, spending zero coins and you just in here, just talking, talking all types of mess. Oh my gosh. Truly just chopping it up. Like it's cool. 
Like he ain't just create commit hella crimes in the stream. Unbelievable. You really time him? <laughs> no, don't do. <laughs> not for the laws. Not for the laws. I want to do him. I don't want to do him like that. I don't want to do him like that. There's a warning though. There's a warning though. I'm gonna need you to come correct next time, Zay. Chopping it up, eating all the food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Zero shame, and you being so honest and open about it too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot with this man, truly. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Zay, you just, you don't give a fuck, bro. You just don't give a fuck. You just out here, you just don't give a damn. Doesn't hurt to time out every so often. <laughs> oh man, you on your own with this, Zay. No support, <laughs> you ain't got a friend in sight, bro. <laughs> Not a friend in sight. Oh my gosh. I think it's the UK water. It probably, probably is. It probably is. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. We are just about at the three hour mark and your girl has to go to the bathroom. And instead of taking another break, you know, it's about that time. Zay said, I get some rest now. <laughs> today he said that shit earlier too and was just like yo i chose violence i woke up i chose violence i have time i'm rested like ew this is how you are when you rested oh just like causing all types of chaos and confusion my god <laughs> you ain't got no friends out here zay mm -mm -mm. you just you just Mm -mm -mm. You coming hard, bro. You coming hard. You don't know who. You don't know who the who the who the 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 holy square is. How you don't know, bro? How you don't know? You of all. You are a founding member on this channel, bro. You look at your badge, <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> look at your badge. Disrespectful. Mm mm mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Scorpio energy. <laughs> facts. Facts, facts. Mm -mm -mm. Them badges be lying. Uh, take his chain. Just give me that. All right, y'all. Let's see. Should we raid? Should we raid? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Should we raid? Should we raid? Or are y'all all ready to go? Let me see. Who is doing what and where? I needed these lives. I'm glad you you got the laughs that you needed, bro. This has been a great stream, yo. Great stream. You wanna rate? Let's get the keyboard out here. You see how good it is? The streams are so good when I'm rested. When I'm chilled and I'm rested, you know? Be feeling good. I would not be joining the raid. Gotta go get my hair cut. No worries, bro, no worries. My girl might give me that chain. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dead. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna raid. Let's see who we can raid. I be wanting to raid people who like, don't have a bunch of viewers at the time, but hold on. We gotta get our, um. We got to get our, our raid chant together. Are we still striking at midnight or what? We got to we gotta strike. It's midnight, right? It's midnight somewhere. We got to strike. My goodness. We just be all over the place with our shit, bro. Hold on. Ooh, and I'm spelling shit wrong. Mm -mm -mm. 
Hold on. Let me let me let me get our let me get our 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 message together. Hold up. There we go. I try. <laughs> Wait, did you make one of those? Cuz I didn't make one. I didn't make that command yet. That's another command we have to do though. I'll have to I'll have to set that up. All right. There we go. Copy and paste away, baby. Oh, they just finished their stream. What the heck? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Who else can we go see? I'm not even on the team. What you mean you're not on the team? What you talking about? Ooh, what's that? Oh, my bad, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Gengar gang. Hell yeah. I can't choose between Gengar or Hunter. I love them both. Truly, I do. So they just they just have to be here. If you don't release that down. It, listen. <laughs> This is for the people who know what the Holy Star is, bro. So, you know. Hold on. Let me get Hunter out of here then. I'm so sorry, baby boy. You're going to have to go. Night Dot doesn't show me your channel, so I don't know how to add. Oh, gotcha. Okay, we're going to have to figure that out. I think it's because I changed the name of the of the of of my channel. I signed out and changed... Oh my gosh, why is everybody calling me right now? I signed out um, on Nightbot and then signed in again. So like my name should have been updated, but it's not. So I'll update it and then I'll, I'll get back to you about that, Kage. I don't know what's going on with it though. But um, anywho, let us, let's get a raid going. We got our chat. We got our raid message. Who am I rating? Let's 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 raid um let's raid Hold on. Oh I yo raids be so stressful sometimes. <laughs> Alright, take care, Brandon. Take care. Enjoy your haircut, bro. Make sure make sure you 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 give us the auntie the auntie photos, bro. We wanna see little nephew haircut. Sorry. Little grown man nephew haircut. <laughs> we want to we wanna see. We want to see. Never played or watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I would have been an anime snob. And M, what's MTG? Purist. You never watched, you never watched Yu-Gi-Oh? Never played Yu-Gi-Oh is one thing, but you never watched Yu-Gi-Oh? Insane. Ah, Magic the Gathering. Gotcha, gotcha. That's fair. That's a fair point. Damn, not everybody know Magic the Gathering, the 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 acronyms. I didn't know that. But we're welcome, real John Doe. We are about to uh we about to get on a raid. Who are we raiding? I think I'm gonna raid Kaysom. I've never raided Kaysom before. But let us let's do that. bigger than it's just low key because no no one wants to talk oh gotcha 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 that's like dnd dnd is massive but don't nobody talk about that shit i didn't realize how massive dnd was until um cat started getting into it and it's like this shit is everywhere oh my god did i spell that right I have never and likely will never actually play deep. <laughs> I feel that. I feel the same way. It just takes too long. There's too much going on. And I I just don't have enough time to, to run a campaign. I'll listen to somebody do a campaign, though. I'll watch somebody else do a campaign. But I, I just I don't have enough time for all of that. And especially, like, I know myself. If I really get into it. 
it's gonna be a problem <laughs> it's gonna be a problem best me not even get involved just don't even get involved i sat i sat to people oh i sat in to watch people play and it went oh, went over my head oh my gosh it just seems like a let's do fantasy combat thing with some Ren Fair light RP around it. Mm. A collective one shot campaign. I'd be down to do that on stream, but y'all would have to get on voice chat with me. I'm not trying to be like, unless no, no, y'all have to get on voice chat with me. I don't know who would be the dungeon master. Couldn't be me. Cause I don't, I don't know how to do it, but like, Y'all have to get on with me. Oh, shit. Okay, Kuru. Kuru Hebby is out here just um, sharing all his business. Okay. I mean, Kage, if you, if you know the ins and outs, I know Marco and Kat know how to play. I don't know if anybody else in the server knows how to play. I definitely do not know how to play. I've listened. I don't know the limitations. We could though. We could. We could. Kage said, listen, I did it one time. I'm doing it. <laughs> I feel that though. I feel that. Oh, Mel knows how to play. Mel's down. Mel is the other D&D. You are the other D&D player. Zay is the resident listener. <laughs> Zay, you can make the sound effects, bro. <laughs> like if there's some sort of... Shing! Shing! <laughs> you can do the sound effects, bro. I'm not interested in trying to, like, mathematically represent a sword fight. I feel that. I feel that. My initial tabletop experience. Mm. Yeah, I hear that uh, the quality of the DM has to be on, on point. I played twice a month with some friends. I forgot. Yo, just. Oh. I don't know how you feel about me. I. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Why not back? Never mind. Never mind. Um, You're in the server. I don't know. Um, If you're going to come through, you can come play. I don't know when we'll do it. I don't know. Kage, me, and the other mods will have to talk. But Kage is ready to host. Kage said, ooh, let's do it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Over here fucking up. I'm over here fucking up. <laughs> I'm fucking up. This is what happens when IRL people that I know are watching the stream. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh gosh. Oh, he's been on for a long time. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay though. Let me go. Your girl does have to <laughs> go to the bias room. Let me just see if I can throw up. Will the credits work? Can we roll credits before I head on up out of here? Will that work? Will Streamlabs be so kind? enough as to acknowledge the people who have blessed the stream on this day today are we doing it credits are we doing it oh <laughs> it might do it if i had it on now are we doing it credits there we go Oh, this is all ghetto looking. Let me move this. I won't. Let me, <laughs> let me move this over. This is, this is all ghetto looking. Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. It took a while for credits to work for me. Um, Dulces. It, it just, it took me a minute to figure out how to do it. I'm still kind of like getting credits together on vibes, as you can see. But <laughs> sometimes it takes me a while too. But um uh let's see. Okay. 
So we will raid Kasem. Let me make sure. Yes. Spelt right. All right, y'all. So y'all know the deal. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for joining me on this stream today. This was a good one. Very, very, very good stream. Um, as usual, check out my socials, Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok, even though I don't talk about it very much. I'm on Twitter as well. Um, <laughs> uh, become a Patreon. Join the Patreon. Join the server. Um, do a Twitch sub. That's how you can get into the server. Or become a Patreon. That's how you can get into the server. Um, buy some merch. Check out my online shop. I'm going to be updating it soon. But um, yeah, see what you like. And yeah. Yes, Dulces. I'm on TikTok. I don't talk about it, though, girl. Because... <laughs> You know, I know y'all want me to be on there dancing and shit. I ain't trying to do all that. But, you know, I'm on there. I'm on there. But, um, <laughs> anywho. Oh, my gosh. This is going to blow up my spot. <laughs> There's nothing really on there. There's nothing on my TikTok just uh, right now other than stuff that's already on other places. But anyway. Anyway, thank you so much again. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Let's go raid Kaysen. Let's see if this works. Yes, the raid has been created. Thank y'all so much. I love this community so much, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. All right, y'all. Take care. Be safe. Um, stay hydrated. It's hot out here. I think that's all I got. All right. Love y'all. Peace. No way. Oh my goodness.